Hello everyone, welcome to my dining room. So today I'm going to be preparing my fall decor. So hopefully you like it. Oh, these are some dead roses. table uh it's pretty old-fashioned i actually uh got this whole dining room set from a this woman that i used to work with some years ago her mother-in-law was moving into a senior center and basically she sold us this so this is a used dining room set it comes with the china cabinet which is huge top and bottom comes with this table that actually has three leaves uh, it extends out to fit, I would say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people to seat. Two armchairs and one, two, three, four regular chairs. And then two, um, if I'm going to seat more people, I'll usually bring some chairs from another room. And just I mean, they're a mismatch, but we do with what we can. Um, I moved into this house. It's an old farmhouse from the 19, early 1900s, the previous owner had a lot of decor that's really not my style like for example this chandelier it is 100 percent brass it's really it's i don't know that's rust corrosion it's got green corrosion i want to get rid of it um i would like a whole new dining room set something a lighter color but for now this is what we have so this is what i'm working with so i hope you enjoy this video I just added the leaf. I'm not going to add the other two leaves because I don't expect to have a lot of people, but I kind of wanted to extend my table for the season. All right, so I hope you enjoy. Using my Mrs. Myers uh, multi-surface acorn spice. My trusty truth. what you want to do is when you have a, a formal dining room dining room table you want to center the center point of the dining room table directly under your chandelier so that's how you know that it is centered so right now we are somewhat centered i'm going to move it over just a tad all right that's it I don't have much space. Uh, this dining room set actually comes with Um, tablecloth and 
I have some Place mats. I have place mats. I have table runners. Uh, I think that I'm not going to use this ray gun. I think I'm going to use this with this. Sometimes you have to iron a tablecloth so that it'll look nice. Let's see. This needs to be ironed. I don't even know if this will fit. I think this is for a larger table, but we will see. Thanksgiving season is coming up. Thanksgiving, y'all, is not my favorite holiday. It's not my forte. Um, I am a Christmas person. Christmas, Halloween. Um, Halloween somewhat. I don't like to get dressed up in Halloween costumes and all that. I like for the kids. I think it's more, more for the kids. Yeah, this fits. All right, so let's make this tablecloth. Look somewhat nice. So I don't believe that I need to iron this tablecloth because it's it's decent. I've, this, this whole room needs to be cleaned out. Anyhow, yeah, I'm going to declutter all of this. And I really wanted to show you all how I declutter it all. But um, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to get that done today. But the least that I can do is get the table set. And then we can work on decluttering on another day. But anyhow, these plates are plates that I have from Pier 1. They are very heavy yellow plates. They are, um, they're earthenware. Now, as in my other videos, I said that I am trying to be less toxic and more conscious. Um, they are painted in yellow ink. I would say that they are not the healthiest uh, dinner plates that you can use. However, we are not going to be eating off of these plates every single day. Um, they are solely for Thanksgiving or for the springtime. My favorite color is yellow earthenware. It is not the best um, material that a plate should be made out of, but we're going to make do. And also, I don't know where I got these from. I just ran to the kitchen, by the way, and I... Um, scrub these with some barkeepers barkeepers friendly whatever it's called friendly barkeeper these were like a copper color not a copper color they were like dark brass um they're kind of cool now so i they're kind of gold and i think they did a really good job i used mrs meyer's dish soap with uh what is that barkeeper's friend or whatever so these are napkin rings i don't know where i got them from my mom gave them to me I think or maybe I may have picked them up at a yard sale or at some type of sale I don't know but they're old they're vintage a lot of the things that I have are old vintage um but my style is constantly evolving a little bit of old and a little bit of new so uh let's get this uh table set yeah like I got holes and stuff in my dining room furniture whatever it is what it is
and sister. I don't understand how all my stuff gets filthy dirty, to be honest with you. It's like when people eat, they eat like, like, like cave people. <laughs> they just make a mess. Don't ask. So there's many ways that you can set these napkins up. Um, actually, I was my sister, my older sister. Um, she has her own way, like how she folds the napkins and she kind of like sticks the silverware in the napkins. I don't know how to do that. I guess you could probably YouTube it. But anyhow, I take the napkin ring. I kind of just make a diamond or a square out of the napkin. Put your hand or your fist in the middle. And if you want the pointy to the front, you put the pointy to the front. Or if you want a square, however you want it. Um, there's no like specific science to it. Kind of just like ping it like that. Boom. Just kind of put this here. Kind of like fan it out. I mean, I'm not like a professional interior designer or anything like that. I just do the best I can. And then I just kind of like place it on the plate like so. So I'm going to order some candles. I think I'm going to do orange or um, maybe a yellow um, candles, one, two, three, four, five, five candles, because the white and the orange just that I had did not go. The orange is kind of like already done, so I threw those in the trash. And the white uh, candles that I have, they don't fit. So I am just going to get different candles, and we're going to set the, the place settings. All right, so the reason why I sat down for the place is because I wanted to show you um, my plate. I have what you call a dinner plate. This is would be a, this could be a dessert plate or a salad plate or an appetizer plate. So if you wanna serve appetizers first, this would be the plate. Um, if you want afterwards, you can uh, serve your dessert with these plates. And then this is the dinner plate. The napkin goes on top because you take the napkin off, you place it over your lap, you put the napkin ring to the side. So Thanksgiving, I have a fall leaf. I am going to use the gold silverware. So as always, you're going to need a knife. And then you have a, you have a dinner fork. Your dinner fork is always going to be the longer fork. So whenever you're going to purchase silverware for your home, the longer forks are for dinner. You also have a smaller fork. The smaller fork is for the salad. Um, they also have cocktail forks. There's also um, other kinds of forks that you can add to the place setting. Depends on what kind of dinner you are having. I'm not having a very formal dinner. So um, I'm not going to add that. But in addition to that, you also have a uh, spoon if you're going to have soup. Um, it should be two spoons in here. I'm not sure what I have. But you have dessert spoons, you have dessert forks, you have soup spoons. So um, depending on what type of meal you're serving for that um, dinner party that you're having or the holiday, that's basically what you're going to add to your place setting. Now you also want to have a wine glass and you can have a water glass. Um, if you are hosting a tea with a family, there's also uh, tea um, glasses that you can use. Um, there's champagne flutes. If you're going to have a toast with champagne, you can add a champagne flute. Now each of these different kinds of glasses have a different location on your uh, place setting. I'm not going to have all of those, <laughs> but I'm just letting you all know that these are different things that are available to you if you want and if you want to, you know, up the ante, make it fancier. So I'm just going to have uh, just a wine glass and a fork and a knife and call it a day. When you want to post something like this if that's what you would like then that's what you can have those are options and if you really want 
take it down a notch. I wouldn't say down because there's no up or down. I don't believe in high and low like that. But I mean, if you're, I wouldn't even say on a budget. If you don't feel like doing all this, you don't have to. Perfect paper plates. Um, I personally don't really like paper plates because I feel like they cause unnecessary garbage. But if you don't want to be washing dishes after your Thanksgiving meal or after your dinner party, you can use paper plates. And if you're concerned about the environment or about toxins, they do have compostable um, paper plates. So those are all options um, depending on your lifestyle. Um, this is my this is what I like to do. Um, right now my house is pretty disorganized. I have a lot of mail on the buffet here, a lot of baby things all over the place, toddler things, but I'm just trying to give myself just a little speckle of joy <laughs> in the midst of this. Um, my furniture is not really what I want, but you know what? We are blessed and I am blessed. I'm blessed to have a lot of these items that have been gifted to me from family members. I am blessed to have a full dining room set. I'm blessed to have a family that I can share a meal with. I'm blessed that I have children, a husband, a mom. I'm blessed and I am honored to be able to serve um, them on various holidays. I'm blessed um, to be able to minister to my family and I hope that you all look at my videos um, and can relate to the things that I'm talking about and can relate to what I'm doing and aren't really <laughs> judging me and criticizing me with a very negative critical eye. Um, if you have any positive feedback or positive criticism, I'm more than happy, but um, we're going to continue with this. So I hope you enjoy. So you put your knife facing the plate on your right. You want it to be even. You put your fork, your I'm putting my dinner fork here. And then I'm going to put my glass here. And I'm gonna do that for all four settings. I actually may put an extra two settings to make this a table of sticks. All right, folks, <laughs> this is a mess. This is the buffet that I have. I have two snake plants. I have some wedding photos. I'm not sure if you can see because it's pretty dark. Yeah, so all this stuff that I have, I need to get it out of here and put it somewhere. Um, my daughter's having her second birthday. I have party decorations. I have some office organizing stuff. Have, this box is for my cousin. Yeah, shout out to my cousin, um, Auntie Jen. Yeah, that's what my daughter calls her because that's her godmother who needs to come and get her stuff from my house. Yeah, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. Jennifer, come get this stuff from my house. Anyhow, I'm just joking. This is here forever. Whenever you're able to come and get it, you can come get it. Um, my old pumps. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get rid of all this stuff. I'm actually gonna do it off camera because my battery's going to die and then I'm gonna come back and show you the final look. Also, I need to put some glasses on this table and then I will show you all the final look.